back to my channel. I'm so excited to have just filmed this makeup look. It's totally inspired by that glow that you get when you've moved on from a toxic relationship. More specifically inspired by a couple of pictures that were surfacing around the internet of Karuchi, of Kourtney Kardashian. Pretty much the captions that went with the pictures, <laughs> more so than the pictures on their own. Both stunning women, both stunning makeup looks. Just totally inspired by just like the healthiness and like the healthy glow that comes with just like moving on from a relationship or a friendship or just anything that's holding you back and you're finally like free of that thing. Don't really want to ramble too, too much. I'm also so excited today because I had coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, but when I have it, I, I have it. So let's just get right into this video. If you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, keep watching. So first things first, before even jumping into creating a dewy look, you want to make sure that you have a blank canvas. So whatever your skincare routine is, definitely get that out of the way first so that your skin is just totally clean. It's fresh and ready to go. That being said, I've already gone through all the steps of my skincare routine, so I'm just gonna jump in to this look. So I'm starting off using cooling water. It's by Milk Makeup. It is my newfound love. I just love the way that it feels when it goes onto your skin. I'm using this today just because it promotes a healthy glow. It's literally like caffeine for your skin. I'm trying not to overdo it, but I just love the way it feels. What better time to look alert than when you are trying to achieve a move on glow. Like, I'm not even tired anymore. I'm not even tired of you. So now I'm applying my primer. Today I'm using Becca First Light Priming Filter. I'm just doing a pump of this and I'm going right onto this. It's got a little bit of like iridescence going on, just a little. So this is one of my favorite things ever to do and that's actually putting a little bit of highlight underneath my foundation or my BB cream or whatever I'm using that day. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this NARS stick. It's in the shade Copacabana. So I'm just gonna actually, okay, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Just applying to where I'm gonna end up applying highlight anyway. This is probably really alarming, but um, it will pay off in a moment. I'm also gonna do a little bit of color correcting just because I wanna make sure that I don't have dark circles. We just wanna look really healthy. We want our skin to look, ah! We want our skin to look like it's done. And this is Cover FX um, in the shade Orange. I'm gonna use um, just a buffing brush from Real Techniques to buff out underneath the eye. So for the highlight that I've got all over my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my finger. This is gonna be really subtle. It's not like a whole lot of highlight, just subtle. So that's the base of the look. We're just gonna go on top of all of this. For my face, I'm using my Smashbox Camera Ready. BB cream and I'm in the shade medium dark. I love this. <laughs> I, I love fleshy looks in general. Um, so I really like this product. So if you're wondering why I'm still orange under my eyes, that was no mistake. I just feel like the more product that I have underneath my eyes, the more prone I am to creasing underneath my eyes. And since I'm going under this area with concealer anyhow, I'm just leaving it as is for a second. So I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm in the shade Caramel. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. I'm taking a beauty blender. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that in place. I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder, an F30 brush by Sigma. So I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring, very slight, just because I don't want it to be too contour heavy. Because again, I just feel like this look should be pretty effortless and healthy. Not that contouring doesn't look healthy. I just would rather look more like so, taking a Sigma F40, 
And I'm using the Smashbox Contour Palette. Um, this is the dark one. So now we're moving on to the highlight part of the skin, which obviously is going to kind of be the star of the show because we do want to create a bit of a glow. So I'm actually using a cream highlight. This one is in the Sephora Pro Dimensional Highlighting Palette. This has pretty mixed reviews. A lot of them are bad. <laughs> a lot of people find that it leaves their skin kind of greasy. The method that I'm using, actually, I like it and it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy at all. But definitely something that you probably want to look at in stores and see if it's for you so that you don't go out and spend money on a product that you don't really like. It's so cool. I'm gonna be using this highlight and it is called Double Star. It's like the duochrome finish. So what I'm gonna do is actually pick up my Beauty Blender again. And you wanna grab a setting spray. I'm using Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm just gonna mist that a little bit. Going right on top of where I would put a highlight. Just so that my skin is a little bit wet again and that just kind of makes it easier for the cream highlight to move around. So now I'm picking up a bit of Double Star and going down the cheekbone like so and I'm just switching back and forth between fingers. <laughs> I've got one that is applying the product and the other that is blending the product but again the setting spray helps so much so that it's not just like a line that's just kind of unnatural looking. So the cream highlight is kind of just a base. I go on top of it with two more highlights. I'm taking Gold Deposit. It's a mineralized skin finish and it is like a cult favorite. So I'm picking it up on this no name brush and just swiping kind of underneath where I just applied that cream highlight. This is actually the highlight that I use for things like my forehead and things like down my nose and my chin because it's just a little bit more subtle against my skin complexion. Make sure that you're blending everything out. To finish off this highlight, I'm taking another MAC product. This one is Global Glow. It's definitely a bit more on the cooler side, um, which works to like bring out the highlight. So I like to have the warm highlight to kind of transition the highlight. And then I like to have the cool tone to kind of pop in my skin. So I'm picking it up with a fan brush and I'm just pretty much like swatting my face. Wow, this is the third MAC product in a row. I feel like that never happened. But I'm taking Sun Power and this is another, this is a third mineralized skin finish that I've used. This looks like it was supposed to be a contour brush, but that's fine. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit. I don't want anything too heavy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my blush. I'm using Lovejoy, this is by NARS. It's pretty much like a more subtle, obviously very loved, um, it's a more subtle version of NARS, um, of Orgasm by NARS. So that is it for the face. I'm gonna go ahead into the eyes, which are so easy. They're so easy, believe me when I tell you. So I'm picking up my Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop, and this is in the shade On The Rocks. This is my absolute favorite ColourPop shadow of all time. So if you've ever used a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, you just you kind of know that you get the most out of it when you're using your fingers. So I'm picking up this phrase and I'm just going right on my lid. I'm just gonna pick up a fluffy brush and this one is by Sigma. It's an E40 brush. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of just diffuse So before adding anything to the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little eyeliner. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, cream color in Jet. I think this may have been a 216 brush, but I'm not 100% sure because it's worn off, but it's the angled brush by MAC. I'm starting kind of in the center, kind of aligned with the wing, and I'm just starting to pull it in. 
so it really just diffuses it. So what you're doing is actually pulling up and then pulling in, like out and in. Also, because it's diffused, it just makes it so much easier. It just gives you so much room for error. Not that we should go into this thinking like, let's screw this up. But also, it's kind of like, if I do screw it up, it's diffused anyway. Bitch, this is art. It's art. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up ColourPop again. I'm using just a brush that came with an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm in this really awkward stage of growing my brows back out. I have naturally thick and naturally dark eyebrows, so it's just really not a nice process to have to go through. We're gonna do what we can. Cool, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this look. The photos that I was inspired by of like Karuchi and Kourtney Kardashian, they had lip gloss. I'm just not much of a lip gloss person right now. It could be a phase, it's just not something for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick to a matte lip. I'm using this Magnetic Matte Lip Color. This is by Nude Sticks, and this is in the shade Boho. Okay, okay so we're just gonna finish off this look by setting it um, using Urban Decay All Nighter. I to go on top of that using my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm so uncomfortable. And that is it, that is the completed look. This is my take on what it looks like to have that post breakup, post moving on. It's all about the skin and just looking refreshed and just healthy and hydrated and happy. I think that it's suitable for all complexions, honestly, truly. But uh, yeah, that is it. If you like this look, please let me know down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, until next time.